Hey there, Altcoin fans. Thanks for joining me here on Altcoin Radar. Today, guys, I'm going to show you some of the good, the better, and the best parts about BAT and the Brave browser. Um, and as always, guys, hey, if you like the content, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because why not? And it helps me out. Um, and also, guys, hey, feel free to follow me on Twitter with the link in the video description below. Uh, it's a fun place to hang out and talk about altcoins all day long. So if you're into that sort of thing, hey, Go ahead, give me a follow, and you know we'll chat. We'll chat about altcoins someday or something. Um, all right, guys. So we are going to look into the Brave browser today. Bright Brave browser and the BAT token. Now I'm a huge fan of both. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know me, I'm I, I'm a huge fan of Brave simply because you know. Well, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. I don't want to spoil the fun. But um, all right, so we're going to talk about the good parts, okay? Now, everything about BAT and the Brave Browser is good, okay? I just want to talk about, you know, the good, the better, and the best part about it, because um, it's all good. So, the good part is the fact that they have so many products. They have such a great, such a vast product suite for just about everybody, okay? Um, pretty much everybody in the world can use these products, and that is what's great about this project. Um, literally anybody in the world can use this product or use these products. Um, the first one that I want to talk about mainly is their newest one called Brave Talk, okay? Um, now, this is like a... Um, it's kind of like it's kind of like Zoom. It's it's pretty much like Zoom, you guys. Only it's you're literally uh, unlimited private video calling um, right in your browser, as you can see right here. Um, there's no extra apps, no tracking, just free connections powered by Brave. And um, they do have a paid version as well. I think they do still. Um, let's see here. Um, is Brave Talk free? Yes, yeah, so they do have a paid version called uh, Brave Premium, and Brave Premium is like, um, so yeah, it says here you get secure call recordings, uh, YouTube group watch, and group streaming, and hosting tools like uh, uh, for passcodes and stuff like that. So yeah, um, they do have a premium version as well, which is awesome. I have not personally used this yet, but it's great because, you know, I like seeing other products like this. You know, this is a project that's built on blockchain technology, so this is really cool. I really like this. This is awesome. Um, so, and I know that there's a lot of businesses in the world and there's a lot of enterprise companies out there that use Zoom and stuff like that on a regular basis. So if they started to use projects like this, I mean, that's awesome. That's just, that's, that's great news. Um, all right. So the next good part about Brave is another product that they have is called now, hold on. Sorry. Before I go to the next product, um, I just want to say real quick that I, I'm going to kind of go through these fast because nobody wants to sit through a 25, 30 minute video. So I'll kind of go through these fast just to, you know, get through the video. All right, guys. So the next product for the good part about Brave would be their Brave playlist. Now, this is only for iOS users. Um, I would hope that it comes out for Android users in the future. future. Um, like me personally, I've never owned an Apple device in my life. I'm strictly Android. Um, so this kind of stinks for me. But for iOS users, this is great. This is something that does not currently exist. And this is something that literally everybody could use, every single person in the world, um, well, with an iOS phone. All right, so introducing playlists for iOS. You can make a playlist of the content that you love right in your browser. Um, and it doesn't have to be... Uh, music it doesn't just have to be music guys you can you can save um, you can save like videos in there from YouTube you can you can save uh, music uh, recipes anything and like let's say you're um, let's say you're on an airplane right you know and there's you know you don't have access to Wi-Fi or something like that which I mean these days there's pretty much Wi-Fi on most planes but I mean let's say they don't have it I mean this stuff will be available to you offline so you'll be able to access it at any time you want so that's awesome um, so yeah, this is just another product that they have came out with. And I mean, it's, it's great news. Uh, this is a, this is an awesome product. Um, all right. So that's pretty much the good part about brave and BAT and the brave browser. You guys, they've got such cool products that, you know, we would not have heard of, you know, 10 years ago. So that, that's awesome. I mean, brave talk. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like zoom, but I mean, it, it is secure and it is private. So you don't have to worry, worry about stuff being uh, tracked or stored on centralized servers somewhere. So that's awesome. All right, guys. So now we're going to move on to the better part about brave. All right. Now the better part about brave would be the fact that, um, you get rewarded just for browsing the internet. And that's awesome. I mean, who wouldn't want free cryptocurrency just for browsing the internet? Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who do use Brave that could care less about earning cryptocurrency, and that's great, 
But, um, you know, for people like me, I mean, yeah, it's not going to make you rich or anything like that. But hey, I mean, what's an extra five, you know, three, three to five, you know, BAT per month, you know, that's, that's free crypto. So why not? Um, so that's awesome. I mean, you literally get rewarded just for browsing. And the other cool thing about the rewards program is um, you basically there's a lot of uh, content creators, you know, people on YouTube, people on Twitter, um, Twitch, all, many different types of platforms where you can, you know, if you're if you have um, rewards, you can literally tip those creators as well if you want to. I mean, I'll be honest here. Um, I have ran some polls on my Twitter account before in the past and most people don't tip anybody. Um, most people are honestly just uh, holding on to their BAT and hoping that, you know, BAT is going to rise quite a bit in the future. So, uh, and, you know, that's okay. Everybody's got their own reason for, you know, keeping their tokens. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, all right, guys. So now on to the best part about Brave. All right. Now, I have said this time and time again all over my Twitter account. Um, this is the best part about Brave. Literally the best part is the fact and the ability to browse the internet without advertisements, okay? And what's great about Brave is it's also a tiny bit faster than like, uh, um, um, what do you call it? Browsers like Chrome, for instance. And the reason why it's a little bit faster is because when a page loads on Chrome, it has to download all of the scripts for all the advertisements and stuff. So that's why you sometimes get really, really low laggy page load speeds on, you know, on a Chrome browser. But with Brave, you know, you're not downloading all the, it, Brave doesn't have to download all of those uh, advertisement scripts. So therefore, it's, it's going to load faster. Um, it's simple as that. Um, but I did a little bit of a, um, we're going to do a little bit of an example here real quick. I hope this doesn't screw up my recording, but, uh, we'll see what happens. All right. So we're going to go to Chrome and I'm going to show you, um, the difference between, uh, all the ads on Chrome compared to the same URL on Brave. And you can see just how many ads there are and how many ads there aren't on Brave. All right, guys. So we're going to go to Chrome here real quick. So here we are on a website. Um, CNN politics website and I'm just going to scroll through here and you can see how many ads there are I mean they're everywhere all right so if you saw how many ads there were there um, that's kind of what I'm talking about, you guys. It, it's, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. There's so many ads over there. It's just insane. Um, now we're going to go to the same URL here on, um, Brave, and you can see that there's just no ads whatsoever. So we'll refresh the page. It loaded super fast. It's already done, um, because it's got no advertisements to load. And as you can see, there's no ads here whatsoever. It's just simple content, nothing. Um, just watch your content, read your content, and you can do what you want. And that's it. And that's all the internet should be. And that's what's great about it. This is awesome, you know. So that is the best part about Brave and BAT and the whole Brave ecosystem or the BAT ecosystem. Um, now to show you a little bit of analytics about BAT real quick here, or Brave, the Brave browser itself. It has 38.9 million active users, which is awesome. As you guys can see, the user growth in the past, you know, since 2019 has grown tremendously and it's only going to grow more and more and more as time goes on, you guys. I mean, I mean, just look at that. It's, it's going to keep growing. I mean, it, there's no doubt about it. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, these are the content creators that are, you know, they accept, they accept tips and BAT. Um, from Twitch, Vimeo, uh, various websites, Reddit accounts, Twitter accounts, uh, even GitHub accounts, but most of them are on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you've got a favorite YouTuber that you want to tip in BAT, hey, there you go. You can, if you want to. Um, so yeah, that pretty much does it. There's a lot more metrics here, but, um, you know, hey, if you want to take a look at it further in depth and go, you know, feel, feel free. But, um, overall guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video and the content that I wanted to get through. Um, but you know, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. But again, guys, Hey, before you leave, don't forget to follow me on Twitter here with the link in the video description below. And also guys, 
go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a daily basis. And hey, with that said, you guys, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.